Hello, and welcome to Southfeld Child Control. In this video, I'll show you how to use and set up the Internet Remote feature. Start the Child Control Settings program to configure the Internet Remote feature directly on your child's PC. To do so, go to section Internet Remote. If you haven't done so already, please enter your email address. Your password for your login is the same as your password for the settings program. If you want to change it, you can do that here as well. After you have entered your account information, please press the test button once to see if communication with the Internet Remote Server works. Great, it worked. Now, let's take a look at how this all works on the Internet. To log in, go to the website solfeld.com slash login with your preferred browser. Let's give it a try and enter the same login data as before. If the login data is valid, you will see nearly the same screen as you are used to. Nearly everything you can do on your child's PC is also available online. You can change time limits, set or change internet restrictions, or you can browse through your child's usage logs. Near the bottom of the start page, you will find our popular live functions. Live functions are available when the child's PC is turned on. You can use them to shut down the PC, to extend time limits, to get a live screenshot, or to send a message to your child's PC. When you are finished, just press the log off button. Press the sync button to synchronize the settings of your child's local PC. Note that this only works if the child's PC is turned on and connected to the Internet. If your child's PC is turned off, synchronization will begin with the next startup of the PC, and then every 10 minutes. If you have more than one child, and each has his or her own PC, you can group them together. Just make sure that you are using the same login and password data on each of your child's PCs. If this is the case, maybe you are also interested in the roaming features. Roaming allows you to add your child's user times together if he or she uses more than one PC. As already mentioned, just make sure you are using the same email and password data on each PC. Once these settings are complete, it doesn't matter which PC the child uses. There is only one user time. Use the second roaming function to automatically get settings from another PC. This saves you a lot of time if the children often use different PCs. You only have to set a limit on one computer once. It will be sent to all the other computers automatically. Now you know how Child Control's Internet Remote feature works. If you have any questions, feel free to contact us via email at support at Thank you for watching.